Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Dank Null, a mod that is designed to make your inventory management a little bit easier to work with. Dank Null is a mod that has been designed with an older mod in mind. Those familiar with open blocks, which may have seen, uh, I've done some uh, little bit of bit by bits on that in the past. There was an old thing called a Dev Null, and this is a Dank Null, which is a uh, just a, a different and improved uh, version of what is available out there. Uh, so <laughs> the idea is that uh, if you are mining things, let's say I I've been mining for a while, I've got all sorts of junk like dirt and cobblestone, I'm using a, a silk touch pickaxe, so I got a bunch of grass blocks and some andesite and diorite and granite and oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff and I don't have any room for the ores that I'm going for. Well, this mod looks to try and remedy that by making these dank nulls. Uh, these will actually store ingredients. If I take the uh, first uh, version of them, as you can see, there's a Mark II, a Mark III, uh, IV, V, etc., and uh, all the way up to six. But if I use the lowest level one here, and I press Shift, right click, I can open up this. And this is my inventory, though it may look entirely red, uh, and it can store up to nine different items. Now I can put them in there normally, or I can shift click them in, and you can see that it's stacking them greater than a normal stack size would uh, be handled in my inventory. But watch this, if I stack more than this, it, it just disappears, it gets voided. Uh, well, what happens if I just take a bunch of dirt here, and I pick it up, it, it's, it doesn't go into my inventory. You see, I have two blocks left. Let's pick these up, grab those, and oh, they're all gone. Where'd they go? Well, they, they went into, uh, well, they got destroyed. This level of dank null, the very first level, is actually going to store up to 128 blocks uh, of, or items, uh, of that one item type. So you can actually put all these different types in here, and then you can actually add in more, and you see there it just voided the excess. So it's only going to store so many, but this is a really good way of being able to have at least a couple stacks of uh, the different materials that you might be mining, or you could even put ores in here if you so desired, uh, but then again, uh, things would get voided once they got up to uh, greater than two stacks. Now, the recipes for this are actually a little bit steep when you first start because you're thinking, well, this is just like some kind of little like carry sack or something like that. Well, it's a lot more than that. Uh, to give an example, the recipe of the, your level one dank null is going to be five of these uh, redstone dank null panels, which the recipe for that is going to be a block of coal times four plus four redstone plus a red stained glass pane. And you're probably thinking, well, wait, 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 that times five. Okay, so that, that's actually about 100 pieces of coal uh, that you're going to need to in order to make your level one dank null. So you're going to have to have mined quite a bit already in order to have obtained this. And then, uh, of course, if you go up to your next level, your Mark II, which is going to store a lot more stuff. Here, let me actually uh, shift click this, and I can see, you can see here, I'm just like tossing in a whole bunch of cobblestone. Uh, I can bring in a whole whole bunch more. And it, it, it should uh, feasibly go into that inventory. I do this, and you can see it, it, it just keeps on adding in. There we go, up to 512 in this case. So as you go up, it's going to be able to store more total as well as another level with the, uh, the blue, the Mark II. And in this case, if I were to make the, uh, the level two one, I can make more of these panes, same as before, and uh, you know make a, a newer version, which it's going to be the same number of coal plus lapis uh, lazuli. But here's the thing. You have two different ways of making it. Let's say you started off with the level one version. This can actually make things a little bit cheaper for you, so you don't have to make a whole new one. And that is you can actually just upgrade your old one by making four of the previous panels. Now, if you go with this route, though, to try and make the very end one, you're, you're wasting a lot of materials. You, for instance, if I make a Mark VI here, you can see here I can make five of these emerald panels or I can make four plus this version. And then I could make four of that plus this version, then four of this plus this. And so you could do like your, your dank nullception if you really wanted to, but that it'll it's somewhat somewhat wasteful, but it also allows you to uh, kind of upgrade things depending upon the materials that you have at hand. Uh, now, uh, of course, the, the very high level one, to give an example, it, it's, it's, it's really crazy. Uh, let me uh, shift right click. You can see it, it stores a double chest's worth of different types of items, and it can store, I think, like a, a couple billion of, of, each, of each kind. 
it's it's ridiculous. But of course, the the recipe for that is going to be a bit extreme. Here, let me show you. The redstone one is as before redstone and uh, your your coal, uh, and then you've got your uh, lapis one, which is just lapis and coal. You've got your iron one, which is iron and coal, gold and coal, a diamond and coal. But if you go into the emerald one. It's blocks of emeralds and coal. So that can be a bit pricey. And that's times, you know, the number of panes that you're going to need, which is anywhere from four plus uh, a, a mark five uh, or five of them. And, and that can be quite expensive. But these can be really, really cool. They That's not all they can do, though. I mean, yes, it is a one inventory slot that can store a lot of stuff. Now, as you can see here in this dank null, I have dirt currently highlighted on there. And the red one is actually a very poor example of uh, how I can best show this to you. So uh, uh, how to use them. But let me show you something else before I show you how to actually use these. Uh, and that is the docking station. If I take this docking station, which uh, it is made simply with some emeralds, redstone and obsidian. If I take one of these dank nulls, place it in here, I can then, you know, access it while it's sitting there, as you can see in these other stands, uh, I can shift right click to take it back out. Uh, I can also uh, switch it with other ones. Let, let's take this one out here. And instead, let's take this one that is currently full with a whole bunch of stuff in it, put it in there, and you'll start seeing that no, nothing is happening. I've got a hopper here going into a chest. What, what, what is happening? Well, if I look on here and I hover over, it actually tells you control click to change the mode. Extraction mode is currently on do not extract. You can actually change this for each individual item so that if you uh, want, when you come back from a mining run, you can have this feeding into an inventory system. I also have some thermal dynamics over here as another example of uh, things that could potentially be used. I have this blue one over here that has a bunch of cobblestone in it, so I could use that. And that is currently set to also do not extract. Now if I control click extract all but one, uh, then there we go. That's pretty much what I want to happen here. So let's put this back in, in place and eventually it should start working uh, as expected, but uh, you're going to want to make sure that you know you, you have everything set and squared away. You can see it's actually going right now. It, it just takes a few seconds for it to actually start doing the thing. There we go. It is now currently going. So let's uh, tell this one to start extracting. Control click, extract all but one. You can actually change it to multiple modes though. You can see this one's slowly going down because it's a regular hopper. It just does one at a time. Uh, but you can also do all but 16, all but 64, extract all items. So you could have it, if you want to keep uh, cobblestone, you could keep 64 uh, left in here and extract uh, you know, everything else uh, all but one so that you still have these and you don't have to worry about losing all of them in their place. And it will slowly over time just start filling in the chest. Now, of course, this is a vanilla hopper. Uh, it's going to be much quicker with something like uh, you know item ducks or, or whatever your, your choice is that you want to use. Now let me show you how to use one of these. Now this still has a whole bunch of stuff in it right now. So that's what I'm going to do. If I hit shift right click, you can see all the items in it, as I said before. But you also have uh, like grass blocks, dirt, uh, granite, uh, diorite, etc. All sorts of things in here. If I hit right click, whatever block is currently highlighted on the uh, dank null itself, if you look in the bottom right corner, it shows dirt, it will place a piece of dirt. I'm in creative right now, uh, so let me change into non-creative mode, and you can see that it will actually use up that last block, and now it is switched on to the next block, which was granite. And it, they all kind of move over to the left one, but they should keep all of their settings for when you're using them on the, uh, the docking stations here. But therefore, I can now place a bunch of granite. Not a problem, just by right clicking. And then when I shift right click, you can see there's 58 left. I've used a few of them already. Uh, some of them had been drained into the chest. It, it's no big deal there. Let's just mine these back up, pick them up, and they go back into the dank null. There we go, back up to 62. Not a problem. Now, if I place one, and then I uh, decide that I, I uh, switch it, and I decide I want to choose something else, you can see here it says control plus click to change mode. It also says alt plus click to set as selected item. So I could have this alt click and that becomes the selected item. Now the red one, as I said before, is not the best one to choose. So allow me to uh, mine up a couple of these blocks here and I will start putting some into another dank null. Uh, let's use this yellow one so that it's a little bit easier to view because, uh, well, the reason I, I say this 
uh, is let's put some dirt in here and there that that should do for now uh, in fact I'll just kind of drop the rest of these out I have uh, two competing dank nulls now I believe one of which is probably already full but there you go 512 cobblestone and two dirt you can see that this one is red it's a little bit more challenging to see with the red one uh, as you can see it says this is selected so that's a little bit challenging to understand but once you upgrade something past that which i, I recommend you just kind of skip past the redstone one go into one of the other ones immediately if you can uh, you uh, therefore can see this is what's highlighted i can alt click to set it as the uh, selected item i can then start selecting this and placing it down there you go and then uh, you should be able to place down some dirt then it ran out and I'm now placing down cobblestone, etc. And it's just that simple to continue mining things. Goes back in your dank nail, does not clutter up your inventory anymore. And it's wonderful. Uh, it, it's, it's one of the best uh, utility tools you could take with you on a manual mining run. Uh, and I highly recommend that you give it a go and try it out yourself. Plus the fact that you can now uh, put it on a docking station, have it feed into whatever inventory system you want, and uh, customize how much is left in it so that you don't ever have to worry about running out of blocks when you need a few that you can place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit by bit on Dank Null, uh, as made by the real password or P455. W0RD, uh, as well as uh, contributed by Covers1624. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, spread the mischief to others if you think they'll enjoy this content too. And until next time, my friends, I'll see ya.